Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki Harris speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. It is time. Uh, it is. It is time to talk about the day. Today is the twenty twenty third of April, and the moon at this point is in Libra. It does shift into Scorpio at eleven twenty one a.m. this morning here on the east coast of the U.S. running for its uh, opposition to the sun. We have a full moon in Scorpio today. That occurs tonight, uh, I think 7, 7.30, I think, tonight here uh, on the east coast. But the moon will be full as it rises in the uh, eastern sky. Um so this is a uh, Mayflower. I think it's a verbenum, verbenum, verbena. Um, it's a really old plant, and uh, it got pretty wrecked uh, from the snow and being so close to the road. But uh, it's an old-fashioned plant, and it smells smells fantastic when it when it blooms. We'll keep an eye on that as it blooms. Uh, and these are the white lilacs. You can see all the little white lilac flowers coming out, but there's still that beautiful spring green still. And uh, I'll take it down, talk a little bit about this full moon. So full moons are points of awareness. They're culminations. They're uh, expressions of feeling. And of course, with the uh, moon, in Scorpio, the feelings are intense and deep. Um, Michael and I uh, are weeding this bed. And so uh, we had to pull out a whole bunch of uh, mugwort that's in this bed. So it doesn't overtake the bed. And uh, we have a few extra babies here that we're going to plant around the yard. These are uh, irises that grew past where they were planted. And we had some uh, fabric on it. So they actually grew on top of the fabric. So as we took the fabric back, um, they also came out. But we'll, we'll plant those. But uh, that's what this mess is. We're just trying to tidy up, do our due diligence. This stuff is not... Uh, not easy. Oh, come over here with, with Charlie. What you doing, Charlie? See, there's a St. Francis and Charlie. Charlie's now stuck in the roses. <laughs> She's not too happy about. It. There's a little uh, there's a little water dish there for the bees. I think Charlie was going for a, a drink. So um, we have to keep in mind that this full moon is part of the lunation cycle that began with that oh-so-powerful uh, new moon solar eclipse in Aries, conjunct Chiron. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Things are moving pretty quickly here. Over the weekend, we were able to, uh, the House passed uh, the aid bills for, uh, for foreign aid, of which... Um, certainly uh, Ukraine needed hopefully it's not too late and uh, hopefully uh, it wasn't stalled too long and there's a, a hope Hope has returned I did do a reading I think last year about Ukraine and I said this time next year is going to be very different and I saw resources coming in and rebuilding so um, maybe I was just seeing the um, the aid package come through at the time I can't rem I have to look back at my readings and see um, what I said and when I said it to know if that's what I was talking about but uh, certainly things are looking brighter on that front and uh, of course we are witnessing uh, the president, uh, the ex-president, uh, being uh, in, a, in a criminal courtroom in New York uh, as his whole, the whole hush money, uh, catch and kill, um, 
uh, uh, interference, election interference is uh, is being explored. Um, you know, perfect fodder for a full moon in Scorpio, honestly. <laughs> Scorpio can be about those clandestine, uh, passionate, as it were, uh, incidents. I mean, there was, I don't know how passionate Stormy Daniels was, that whole incident, but I know from what I can see, uh, it was, you know, Scorpio deals with uh, betrayal on a certain level. And it seems obvious to me that um, Michael Cohen was perhaps thrown under the bus in some way. Uh, and he was the one who was betrayed by somebody he worked for and somebody he considered a friend. Um, so there's that. That's coming to uh, to a head, so to speak, over the next couple of weeks. But beyond all of that, if we can just get our heads out of all this muck, um, you know, looking at the criminality of the former the former uh, president, um, and we get a better sense of uh, how uh, he, you know, in a way was able to become the president um, at the time. Uh, <clears throat> the other the other energy, the other information, the other uh, part of this, our own personal part, is, uh, you know, we're seeing things on the outside. What's being revealed to you now? What What is coming up? for you now, right? What, what has come to a head? What needs to be expressed emotionally or let go of? Uh, Scorpio is a sign of death and rebirth. It's a sign associated with change. And so what has come up for you and what needs to change? Those are kind of questions you might want to ask yourself at this time. And, uh, what are you becoming aware of? And of course, because it's connected to that very powerful new moon, um, there, there's always what the theme is at this time is, is about being your authentic self, being the real you, having the real you be exposed, perhaps. We're seeing that with the ex-president, the real Trump being exposed. And how about you? <laughs> Who's the real you? And how are you, is it, is it, and not so much maybe exposed, but allowing yourself to be seen, allowing yourself to feel it deeply. What needs to be let go of? What needs to be transformed? If you're interested in a more, uh, a deeper dive into this, into this full moon or this chart, you can check out uh, Ona's Tarot. We did her moonshine episode yesterday. It went up yesterday. And we talked quite a bit about this full moon energy. How it's she's seeing it expressed. Uh, she works as a, as a nurse. So she gets to see how the astrology affects who comes into the hospital. <laughs> it's just kind of interesting. An interesting sort of look at it. And then also... What comes up personally or creatively at this time? Creativity is a great way to, if you can't find the words for the things that are coming up in you, art is a great tool for that. It could be the written word. It could be doodling on a piece of paper. It could be creating a beautiful mural. Even if you're not artistically... Um, inclined this is a good it's a good way to connect and of course drawing and art always connects us with our inner child which is always uh, also a great way to connect with feelings perhaps that need to be released that you haven't felt in years and years art will help you to get that to get there and to get that all right everyone that is what's going on showing you the flowers that are growing Things are livening up. 
Hopefully we'll get some nice flowers on our hydrangeas this year. And uh, after last year's big rest, <laughs> hydrangea rests, the great hydrangea rest, all the hydrangeas rested last year. Got like two flowers. This is the climbing hydrangea. This one always blooms and has a most beautiful scent. And uh, we cut back the wisteria quite a bit, uh, as you can see here. But I think because of that, we're going to get, ah, here we go. See that up there? That uh, is a flower. I used to, what happened?